What's up, sports cards fans? Lions like sports cards here. Uh, you see the cards in the background. I felt like it was high time for me to preview kind of another division and how I thought it was going to shake out this year. I'm also going to rip this Prism Mega Box, uh, so stay tuned for that. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and do the I pick two, you pick two for this too. Um, if you haven't seen some of those other videos, this is what's in the giveaway stack currently. Just through ripping a box and I picked the two cards I want and then I picked the two cards for you guys as well. You're going to get an auto and a silver prism rookie and Trey Murphy from what I hear is having a pretty good summer league. So uh, this stack is just going to continue to grow. We are pushing onwards to 500. Please like and subscribe and comment on this video to enter in the giveaway if you haven't already. Um, and yeah, we're going to do it that way. Before we get going, I uh, want to say I'm super pumped. It is Tuesday. I might not get this out to Wednesday, but the Lions are on hard knocks tonight, and I am so stoked for that. Um, can't wait to see Dan Campbell and some of the other great characters, uh, Williams, lots of guys I am interested to see on that program. We've already seen Jared Goff, of course, with the Rams before, but uh, we will get a look at him in a Lions uni on hard knocks. And always a fun show, always interest, interesting to see kind of the drama of training camp unfold. Um, but let's get going. we got some stuff to do. I want to review two divisions. Starting off, you can see we have the AFC North. Um, all right, so this is how I think it's going to go. Um, I think that the Steelers, represented here by one Najee Harris, are kind of in for a rough year. I think they are probably going to bring up the rear. Uh, they did just re-sign or extend Deontay Johnson who was holding in instead of holding out. He was showing up, but just not doing anything at training camp. Um, and they do have, they drafted uh, Pickens and also have Chase Claypool. Um, but quarterback is the issue here. I don't think Pickett is going to give you much this year. Uh, I don't think he's really there yet or really overall going to be a great NFL quarterback. We'll see on that. Um, and then you have Mitch Trubisky, who I've seen a lot as a Lions fan. He actually played pretty well against the Lions, uh, but we were the only team that he did play well against, which is often the case. Um, so I don't really believe in Trubisky, and I don't believe in Pickett. Um, Tomlin is going to have those guys competitive, but I just I don't know that they have the talent there to do a whole lot this year in a really tough division and a really talented division. So I'm going to put them fourth, um, probably five five to seven wins somewhere in there. Uh, that's just my opinion of them. The Steelers usually are very competitive, so they could definitely outperform that. Uh, third, and some of this will depend on, I would swap these teams probably if Deshaun Watson is suspended for the year. Uh, and time will only tell about that. But I have the Ozzie Newsom there representing the Browns. Um, I think that most likely the Browns uh, with Brissett are probably a third or fourth place team. Uh, Deshaun Watson would change things a lot because that is a really good roster. Uh, so I would move them definitely more into the first or second if he does manage to not get suspended for the whole year. Um, but even with Brissett, I think roster-wise, they're a very deep team, a good defensive team with Denzel Ward and Miles Garrett. Lots of other guys on defense. Uh, so I would, I would put them probably third um, if what I do believe happens, um, Watson gets suspended for the season. Now, uh, Ravens. Ravens are going to be possibly, this is another two teams that could swap because uh, Lamar Jackson is looking to prove something this year, no doubt about it. Uh, wants to get that gigantic extension. Um, and you have some other good players. You have Andrews is one of the best tight ends in the league. Uh, not really much at receiver, though. Um, the big key for them is going to be if their running backs can come back healthy. I have J.K. Dobbins, who looked electric in his short time as a rookie, and then he went down last year as well. But, uh, so you have him. If he can come back healthy, that would do a lot because their game is going to be predicated on running in defense, as it always is. So I would put the Ravens at second, assuming some health from their backfield. And last year, they were incredibly dinged up and were still in contention for the playoffs. So... I think that they will finish second or possibly even first, but they're about a 10-win team for me. And then you have the Bengals, who um, have shorn up the line a little more and still have the best receiving core in the NFL, maybe. Uh, when you're talking T. Higgins, Jamar Chase, Tyler Boyd, 
Uh, and Joe Mixon's a really good back too. And Burrow, of course, looks like he's going to be a phenomenal pro for a long time to come. Um, so I would put them in first still. They're probably going to run the ball more than they should uh, based on what they did last year. But maybe if the line can be shorn up a little bit, it'll open up the passing game even more for Burrow. And Higgins and Jamar Chase could just have crazy years. Um, this is getting pretty long, so let's get into the next division preview. I will post kind of what their records, uh, I think they'll be right here for that division, the AFC North. Now let's go West, and this one's tough. I got these cards, and I'm going to start with, oh, it's so tricky to pick a fourth place team here, but I got to go with the Raiders. Um, obviously, they added Devontae Adams. They were a good team last year, despite dealing with crazy chaos with Henry Ruggs and their coach. Uh, John Gruden with the email scandal there. Um, and it's not that I don't think the Raiders are good. This could be one of those divisions where every team is at least around 500 because this division is completely stacked. Um, so, yeah, that's where I would go for number four. Uh, I think they'll have a pretty good year. I just think the other teams in the division are great. I do have Russell Wilson, not in his Broncos jersey yet. I thought this was a cool card I pulled out of one of those mystery boxes a few weeks ago. Um, yeah, so I think the Broncos will probably end up third. And they could make the playoffs still being the third place team. And I think they will make the playoffs being the third place team in this division. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put them there. Uh, you just had Tim Patrick go down. You got rid of Noah Fant in that trade as well. So Russell Wilson will be lasering uh, to Cortland Sutton. And Jerry Judy, probably quite a bit. Two great running backs, too, and, and Gordon and Williams. And the defense is usually pretty pretty stout there. Um, still have Chubb and some other guys on defense. So, yeah, I think they're going to be above 500, but I think they'll finish at third in the league nonetheless. Now, we have these two teams. This one could really go either way. Um, I am going to put the Chargers in the playoffs this year, but not quite ready to win the division yet. Um, I think Herbert is obviously the truth. We've watched him play for a couple years now, and him and Burrow are just great quarterbacks. Um, you got Keenan Allen, you got Mike Williams. Um, Austin Eckler's a great back. You have other guys that have come in as well. Isaiah Spiller, who could take some stuff off of Eckler's plate. Um, so it's, it's and adding Khalil Mack <laughs> next to Bosa. Uh, that line should be formidable. I know Mac is on the downside of his career, but still a presence on any defense. Uh, so I expect big things from the Chargers this year. I think they will certainly have double-digit wins. I just think that the Chiefs are still going to be really good. Um, I know Tyreek Hill is a big loss for them, but you feel like Mahomes is one of those guys who will make somebody else great. You still have Kelsey there. Um, you still have... They did get MVS in there, and there's Juju Smith-Schuster could have a definitely resurgent year with them as well. So I think that this is how it will shake out. I think I'm still looking at 12 or 13 wins for the Chargers, and I think that'll ultimately be enough to win that division. Uh, but it will be close with them and the Chargers, in my opinion. So that's how I got the West and the AFC North. Um, this is as much for me as it is for you guys. I think it'll be fun to look back and see how right or wrong I was and if you'd like to predict in your comments as well, we can see how right or wrong you were when we look back at this in a few months as well. All right, let's get to this rip, guys. We don't have much time here. Let's clear some space on these for our top four here. And we are doing a Prism Mega. Um, these are fun. Definitely, these are the Target Megas, so we could pull an auto out of here. We're looking for the autos and the checkerboards. I'm um, just waiting on Optic to release here, so I had to get into my Prism stash a little more. But this should be a very fun rip if I can scissor it open. All right. Yeah, Optic. Uh, people found it at Barnes & Noble. I was uh, peppering Barnes & Noble with calls this week and not having any luck. Um, I'm not sure. I don't really pick up stuff from Barnes & Noble usually, so I'm not sure when they stack. It's also about a half an hour away from my house. So I'm not prone to just drive out there on a whim and check it out as I would be some of the closest to my house. But <clears throat> hopefully, hopefully, it looks like we might have a target drop this week. So keep an eye peeled for that. This is going to be a long video here. All right. Just 
trying to get a lot done here. All right, we have a Julio Jones. Interesting to see him with the Bucks going forward. We got our first silver here. Oh, not there, though. Asante Samuel. And it's going to be a Silver Raven. Silver Raven, not a rookie. And that's a Patch of Queen. Really good linebacker for them. Don't see any that are quite uh, stand worthy there, but. One feels kind of thick, so we are going to have a jersey in here. Uh, Daniel Hunter, Tyson Campbell, we got a silver back here as well, and that is an Anthony Barr. All right, let's see who our jersey card is going to be. 15. 15 looks like a Broncos at Javante Williams. All right, not bad. I expect a very good year out of him. That's the pink Premier jerseys. Very cool one there. Let's uh, get that back in the, on the stand. Could be some lucky winner's card down the road. Yeah, I think he's going to have a pretty great year, so we will have to wait and see for that. I have seen some of these Megas have the jersey cards and the autos. So hopefully we pulled one of those here. Eric Ebron. Marshawn Lattimore and another Jaguars rookie not named Trevor Lawrence. We have a rookie behind that, and that is a Zach Wilson break. That's definitely a cool one. That will be probably on that stand at the end. We'll see. All right, no pink rookies yet. Let's see what we end up with. Jabril Peppers, Charles Woodson, Kelvin Joseph and Larry Roundtree on the pink. So parallel rookie. We'll see what he does this year. Two packs to go here. These prison megas were not really exceptional this year. Um, did not have a ton of luck out of my other one, and this one has been so 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 far as well. We got Rashad Bateman there. Then a Marcus May. Bateman could have a really good year for the Ravens. He's really the only receiver there at this point, so we'll see how that goes. All right, we have an Anthony Mad or Avante Maddox, Travis Fulgham, Sam Ellinger. And then we have this guy on the silver, not who we were looking for there, uh, Noah Gray on the Silver Prism rookie. All right, so we got Marquise Brown, Blake Jarwin, Tylen Wallace, and Kansas City Chiefs. Is that another? This is a real Chiefs box. We got Daniel Sorensen on the pink. So three packs to go. Not much to report here. I have to pick some stuff for these stands, but not coming up with too much at the moment. Levante David, Jeff Akuda, Seth Williams. And Jonathan Taylor, fireworks. That's a cool card there. Two packs. Let's see what we get. All right, so we got Cameron Hayward. We have Leonard Floyd. Kenneth Gainwell. And we have another eagle behind him. He's going to be a rookie. It's a rookie. Is it back-to-back -back Gainwells, or can we get Devontae Smith here? Devontae Smith. So that's a solid one. Uh, he is going to be number two, I think, which means we, we will have one pretty solid card for the giveaway. I would say that Wilson is probably a cool one to have. So the pink Smith. Then we're going to go ahead and throw this Bateman up for now, too. Four spots. And then we have Zach Wilson here. Oh man, I'm running out of sleeves. There we go. All right. So that's our top four right now. Let's see if we can pull anything crazy out of this last pack and add it to that. All right. We got Nick Chubb, Curtis Samuel. Khalil Herbert, and Brian Sipe. So there you go. Um, these two are going to be for you guys. Nice Zach Wilson on the prison break and a Rashad Bateman rookie as well. I expect some good things from him this year. 
So let's review our stack really quick. Starting to get pretty beefy here. Lots of cool stuff in there. Multi-sport giveaway stack. Like and subscribe, comment, join us. Let's have some fun. I will see you guys later.